another video, another tutorial with Ryan here. Sorry, we're tutorials. Hey, hey, oh. Exercise number six. As always, go to the link in the description below and you will find the download sheet if you want. It's for free. You just have to be a you just have to sign up. That's my dog. So this is the part that we want to do. This is the drawing. It's not the original. I found it somewhere on the internet and I did some modifications, but this is it. To me, when I see a drawing like that, I will focus on the key feature that I see first. To me here, the key feature would be this cylinder because it's really big and in the center. So kind of going to start off the drawing by drawing the circle first. Let's do that roughly on the front plane as always, two circles, one, two circles because we have one outer one and one inner one, okay? And as a habit, I will start off drawing the rough edges like this one and this one first, then I will get to the details. So first thing first, let's draw a point like this. I'm sorry, let's draw a line. And if I move my mouse away and move it back to that point and move again, it turns into an arc. So something like this. Now I'm back to line and boom, press escape, hold the control key down, select this point and the origin point and pick horizontal relation to add the horizontal relation to these. Now again, we need the line A mouse gesture that I have is right click left turns into the line, my mouse, and I go down and like this, escape. So, some dimensions. The big circle has an outer diameter of 40, an inner diameter of, I don't see it, the inner diameter is not, oh, inner diameter is 40, I'm sorry. The inner diameter is 40, the outer diameter is 60, because it's exactly the same as this width. So let's do that. Again, mouse, ge mouse gesture up, right click up, 60 and 40. Now, the length over here from this line to the center of the circle is 80. Let's do that. And here, the length is 75, center to center. By the way, we are missing a circle here. Mouse right click, move to the right, circle. Mouse right click, move to the top, smart dimensions. So this was 75, we saw that. And we need a dimension here. Okay, either the radius on the outer 120, oh, both, the radius on the outer 120 and the di diameter on the inner 120 again. One is diameter, the other one is radius. Right, so fully defined. Let's check the extrusions. This one, this part is extruded 10 millimeters and the other one has a 10 millimeter offset and it goes up, it's another 10. We go to features, 10, click OK. Now we have to reuse this sketch, okay? Because we already drew all of it. We don't want to go draw it again. Therefore, I open this feature, which includes this sketch. Click on the sketch. Now the sketch is highlighted. Now I can just go to the feature that I want to use directly, pick that out and reuse it. I said we have 10 millimeters of offset. So I changed from section to offset set it at 10 and this one itself is also 10 so click OK again sketch how much does the circle goes up 50 easy 50 goes up extrude it even I forget how much it goes up 50 and press OK it's very simple it's almost finished now we need this wall in the back uh, with a width of 13 and this wall that were the bridge that connects it to the circle with a width, width of 12. So 
I would go ahead and draw another sketch over here. Would have been better if I did it in the beginning, but now it's not too late. So let's just leave it like that. This one was 13. And this one was 12. However, this one has to be in the middle. So I will right click on this line and select midpoint. Hold the control key down and select the origin point. Let go of the control key and pick horizontal relation. Now it's good. Now, in order to make sure now it's not in the circle, I'm going to pick it up by selecting it once. Hold the control key down and select this edge, inner edge. And pick tangential relation. Now it's good. Now we can just extrude these two up. This and that. Change it to up to surface and pick the surface and click OK. Looks good. Uh, this cross sectional view AA over here is telling me that we have a chamfer of 10 with the angle of 45 because both horizontal and the vertical value are 10. So we chamfer these two edges with a value of 10 first. Then we'll take it from there. It is at 10 very well. 10 and 10. Click OK. Bring back the drawing again. We see two holes over here with the diameter of 10. They're probably mirrored 12, 25 from the bottom, 25 from the left, 12. So I can just simply draw it on this surface by left clicking on it once and pick sketch, right click to the right circle, pick it up. So we said 12 from the left and 25 from the bottom this is the bottom 25 and the diameter 10 so we have it in the right position go to features extrude the cut it's good now we want it on the other side so we can pick top plane as the mirroring plane and use this hole to mirror it to the other side we have the hole. The only thing missing, oh, actually, there is one more thing. I thought we only are missing these holes over here from the top view here or front view here. I can see we have six of them at the 60 degree angle, height from the bottom 35, diameter 5. So it's easy to do. Just pick top plane, activate the sketch on it. Did you see how I activated it? Let's just do that again. Pick top plane. Go to this pop-up and click on sketch. Make it normal to circle, normal circle here. Boom. We set five distance from the bottom, 35. And make it vertical using control key. Now I can go to features, extrude the cut like that. Now, we just created the first hole. We need six of them, so we have to use circular pattern in the Features tab. Pick this hole and pick this surface because it's a cylindrical surface. You could also pick an edge. You could also pick an axis. You already have an axis if you want, like this. Doesn't matter, all the same. So you can click OK. I don't want to see the axis again temporarily. Let's go with it. The last thing missing is this rib over here. Look at that. From the bottom, oh, I'm sorry, from the top, we see how we have it. It's 25 and its thickness is 12. I can use rib to do this, rib feature, even though it's nothing more than a simple extrusion. But for the sake of using rib for once, uh, I'm going to use that. Pick top plane, activate sketch and click. On, no, 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 actually. OK, so pick top plane, go to features tab and click on rip. Now press escape, make it normal to shift arrow arrow to rotate 180 degrees. So we'll just do this. Go back a little bit and then go up. So we said this one is 25, okay, 
and this line shouldn't go inside the circle. So I will change the drawing or view style to wire, no shaded, and I will leave it here. You might want to ask, why did Ryan just draw a line that goes inside the cylinder and did not end it here? Something like this. Why didn't I do this? Let me do this and show you what would be the issue if you draw this profile. So click on rebuild. So we immediately go to um, ribs because we were on the rib. Um, the width was 12, 12. So we set it at 12. See, that's the issue. You cannot do this because you get zero geometry. The sketch must have on open profile. One open profile. I don't know why. Why does it have to have an open profile? It's a little bit ridiculous. Let me just um, cancel this. Use the sketch. Go to features. It's the same. Go to mid plane and click 12. Now, if I click OK, I should be getting an error. And this should be the zero geometry. Yes, that open profile was mumbo jumbo. The error is zero thickness geometry. Why? If I uncheck this merge results, I can create it and I can show you why. So look, this, you see this? You have empty cavities here. You have empty volume because the circle goes behind it. And where this flat surface, sorry, this flat surface is, or where this flat surface meets the circular surface is a line. The contact point of these two surfaces is a line and that is where the thickness is zero. So SOLIDWORKS cannot solve it, you get an error. That is exactly why I drew the profile a little bit into the wall of the circle so we get rid of this cavity here. Let me go back and change it. How can I do that? We already have this feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow, open this base sketch, click on the sketch and pick edit sketch from this pop-up menu, make it normal too. Now use line to go in up to here approximately, connect it here, use cut to get rid of this line. Now we have something like that. And when I click rebuild, it is still not okay, okay? So I have to fix this one too. I forgot. Make it normal too. Again, we pick line. Go here, go here. Now get rid of this one. The best way to make it fully defined is to change the viewing style into, what is it called? Hidden lines visible first. So we see this is the inner line of the inner, uh, of the cylinder. So I can fix this point on this line. Therefore, this line becomes fully defined. Change it back to shaded with edges. Now this would be my rib and there will be no cavity. I can fix the extrusion because we unchecked merge result. Now I can check it and click OK. Now there is no cavity, there is no zero geometry error and the part is actually finished. So as I promised, if you go to solidworkstutorials.net and go to downloads, you will find this over here as exercise number six. One click on it would download it for you. You can practice with this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, click on that bell button and activate all the notifications. Even when I go to a coffee shop and get a cup of coffee, Oh yeah, I had to talk. <laughs> this is my microphone. You are not. So click on the bell button. Okay. You get a point and see you in the next video. Go. Do you want to say anything, man? Yo, this is him. Say hello. Say like and subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Say that. Hand, 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 hand.